Hi everyone, it's Miranda with Multiplicity Crafts and design team member for the Scrapbook Blessings Club. For today's video, just keep watching. Alright, so today we are going to be decorating our planner. And this is actually for beginners, so we're going to start with a small planner. This is just a pocket size planner. You can get these at the dollar store. And I think it's a better idea to start with something small before you start with a large book or make a large investment. I'm just going to begin by decorating with some cardstock and I found some cardstock in some coordinating colors and designs and I'm just adding some little white squares to the center to make a little place for me to write and you can decorate yours however you like. Some other ideas for embellishments are washi tape, stickers, little banners. You can do decorated paper clips for the top, which we will be doing as part of this tutorial later. Here you'll see that I'm just adhering the squares that I had made, and this is going to be a little place for me to write in my planner. And on these smaller pieces, I'm cutting a fishtail banner. It's very easy. You just cut a small line in the middle and on either side cut up to the top of that line. I will be adhering these small banners down with my Zig 2A glue pen. Here I'm just adding some stamps. This is from a household chores stamp set that I bought from peachycheap.com. And I'm stamping the little words and the little images, which are very cute. This is a little broom, and I'm just coloring that in with colored pencils to add a little bit more color to the planner. And at the bottom I'm adding a little bit of washi tape just for some color and decoration. And there are many elements you can use to decorate your planner and washi tape is a great one. Now let's add the paper clip bow on top. These are very easy to make. You can use an online template to cut these out or they have punches for these. This one I did cut out from a template. I will leave the link to the template in the description box. They're very easy to make. You just fold the two sides over and wrap the small piece of paper in the middle to complete the bow. And you want to use the jumbo size paper clips. And this is great to hold your papers back so you can mark what day you're on in your planner. And at the same time it gives a nice decoration. 
and I use hot glue to put the bow together as well as to adhere the bow to the paper clip. And here's the finished planner. Again, this was my first one and I wasn't 100% pleased with it, so I decided to do another layout. So not bad for a beginner, but an artist is rarely pleased with their work and is always looking to improve. So I designed a second layout. Yes, I went ahead and designed a second layout. Now I'm not going to give a full tutorial, I'm just going to show pictures. But I began by adding a full panel on each day of the week. And I went over the top of those with some fishtail banners and the stamps. And these aren't necessarily chores I'm doing. I was just putting it on there for practice. And then I went ahead and added the little polka dot squares with the stamp on those and the paper clip bow to the side. I think this one turned out a little bit better. It is a little bit plainer. I just thought it looked a little more cohesive personally and I like the colors better. So I hope you enjoyed these two layout ideas. Don't forget to subscribe and I want to thank each and every one of you for watching.